Hello and welcome back. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny, and this is a series where I'm making over Sunset Valley. And this house I had to do because the name cracks me up. The name of the house is called Cottage Cheese. <laughs> So I had to do this makeover next. So this house, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I might try to use the stuff from Supernatural for this pack, mainly because the roof here has this interesting um, gothic type. I mean, I, th I just, well, this little fence up here, I just think it sort of reminds me of a gothic sort of scary looking house. So I think I might go with a supernatural theme for this house, but you never know until we get in there and try it. So let's uh, page down and look and see. And it's a, a medium range house. I think it was about 35,000 simoleons to move into it. So we have the living room with the craftsman style furniture as per usual for this range of house. Very much uh, similar to that furniture that was in Americana. And then we have this horrible looking cabinet here. I mean horrible. Over here we have a bedroom, which I'm not sure if that will be the master bedroom or not. And the dining room is here between. And I like the chairs, but the table is no, definitely not. <laughs> Let's see, little kid. Do you need to eat by any chance? Oh yeah, you need to eat. Why don't you come over here and grab something? There you go. All right, so let's go upstairs. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, so it, there's only one bedroom. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. Well, they probably could sleep in the same bed because they're mother and daughter. So I don't know if I'm going to leave it as a one bedroom or not. Let's see if we were going to, we could expand upwards or outwards. I would probably expand upwards. There's not a whole lot of space inside for another bedroom but maybe 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 and I think the Kennedy family lived here before uh, don't go don't quote me on that but I think it was somebody I heard think her last name was Kennedy so anyway we're going to do a makeover on this and we'll be right back and we're back Okay, so it's almost Halloween here in the United States of America. I'm recording this in October 2015. And The Sims 4 just came out with a Halloween pack. So I thought it would be fun to decorate the house in Halloween theme here. Almost like they're getting ready for a Halloween party. So you can see it's the middle of the night. It's 2.30ish 2, 2 in the morning. But I wanted to show you the outside. Some of the stuff that I have in the house is free from the Sims 3 store, so you might want to go look for Halloween or spooky stuff in the Sims 3 store before you download this house so that you'll have everything that you need if you want to download this house, of course. One of those things being this ghost thing outside, which is like super, super bright. And also, I believe this scarecrow might have come from there. The pumpkin that's on the porch came from there. This uh, spooky lighting that you'll see also on the inside of the house is from the Sims 3 store. So they have a whole bunch of different holiday things uh, that are free in the Sims 3 store. Another thing I did outside is I changed out the trees for the trees that are from Supernatural. And I took out a bunch of the bushes and stuff that were in the yard. And then I put these bushes in here that are from Supernatural. I put the rocking chair... I believe this rocking chair is from Supernatural. I put it out on the front porch also. So it looks like they're getting ready for a spooky Halloween party. So let's look at the inside. On the outside, I changed the color of the roof to be more uh, brown because it was gray and the house is brown. I actually left the outside color of the house the same because I liked it. And the inside, you could see it looks like we're ready for a party. One of the things I love about Supernatural is they have these pictures that change at night versus daytime. So if we go and look at these during the day, you'll see they're going to look a lot different than they do here. Well, not a lot, but different. So you could see I did make some changes. I change the bathroom from the middle of the house to this part of the house just to give the house more flow and the di we now have an eat-in kitchen instead of having a separate dining room and you can see I even put spooky mirrors in the bathroom all the stuff in the bathroom is from Supernatural and this ghost and uh, I believe this is from the Sims 3 store I'm not sure about this mirror 
but uh, let's see. I know this is from The Sims 3 store, and I believe this this is like a hand coming out of a cake or something. And uh, I believe this is from Supernatural, but I could be wrong. So I just really tried to go with a spooky Halloween theme. I know this is from The Sims 3 store, and I believe this cat is also. This uh, furniture set is from Supernatural. I love this rug or rugs so much. This is actually one rug, but it looks like a bunch. And it, you can recolor it to be different things if you want to. And this rug also is from Supernatural. So I really, I just put an office in here, redid the flow. Of course, I redid the whole kitchen to make it look what I think is much, much better. So let's actually look at it from, oh, uh, what angle? This probably be the best. I did redid all the cabinetry, put in new um, appliances, and those are also from Supernatural. I decided to leave it with one bedroom. I was going to put two bedrooms in, but my grown-up alien doesn't ever sleep, so the daughter has been sleeping in the bed. And the bed is from Supernatural. It's their, oh, I can't remember what it, it's called, wicker or twigs and sticks or something like that. I don't remember. Um, so Florida, my alien sim has been writing a book. That's what you just saw pop up there. So you could see that it is definitely... Uh, a lot more cluttered and tchotchkeed up than it was before. And something they already had in the house, I think it was on a different wall, though they had a fire, uh, a fire alarm near the fireplace, which I thought was genius. I don't know why I don't think to do that in my houses. I might start doing that in my houses because they do get fires from fireplaces a lot. And um, I think that's all I wanted to say. I do want to wait until it's daytime, which it almost is, so I can show you the outside of the house and also show you what those paintings look like on the outside. I think Spooky Day is actually in a couple of days. Uh, yeah, Spooky Day is in two days. So I could not have timed this better had if I had tried. <laughs> uh, I could put the walls up and let you see what the insides look like. This is another one of those, uh, these two actually will look different during the day. So this witch is like on fire here and the skeleton looking guy is on fire or in a fire. And I really love the paintings and stuff that came with Supernatural. Oh my gosh. Is that your imaginary friend? Oh my gosh. I hate this stupid imaginary friend. How is, how is this? I guess she has been playing with a lot. I have not been making her play with it. Oh my. Let's um, do a friendly introduction. Oi. Stupid imaginary friend. I'm just waiting for it to be daylight, which it should be momentarily. Usually the, the uh, imaginary friends wear goofier clothes than these, so I'm surprised. Oh, stop with your stupid walk. Here, let's try this again. Oh, okay. Can we get? Can you get me a snack? That would be great. Thanks. I am hungry. And then go for a joy ride while you're waiting for the snack. Go get me a snack with your slow walking self. Okay, let's see if it's light outside. Almost. We could see the lights are starting to come on. The, well, the lights. The sun is starting to come out. And the yard looks way less weird <laughs> during the day because this thing is very very bright at night but let's see all right sun let's uh speed up so the sun comes out okay yeah now we can see so the backyard i really i replaced the trees and i put some bushes around this one tree but other than that i didn't change the grass i didn't change any landscaping i think this house actually was pretty nice to start off with, you can see it's right next to Prefabulous. And she's getting ready to go to school. So I will upload this to the exchange, and I hope that you enjoy it. And I'm doing the same series in Sims 4, so if you have a house or a family in Sims 4 you want me to make over, or in Sims 3, just let me know. And feel free to share this video with your friends, and please do like it and subscribe. I hope you have a great day, and keep on sieving, and if you're in the United States, have a happy Halloween. Bye!